you're all doing well and in today's video I'm going to show you my summer fashion guide. So if you haven't watched any of my earlier fashion guide videos I'm quickly going to explain the concept of this video. So I'm going to show you five of my favorite trends for upcoming season which is of course summer but also I'm going to show you five basic items you'll need to have in your capsule wardrobe as pieces you can use to really build your outfits because I feel in all these kind of seasonal fashion videos everything is very focused on trends however this can cause the problem of I have so many clothes but yet I have nothing to wear and that's because I feel like you don't have enough basics to pair the trendy pieces with so that's why I really wanted to focus on my favorite trends but also show you some basic pieces you'll need to have in your wardrobe for every summer I also wanted to let you know that if you're interested in any of these pieces that I showed you or you want to start kind of making your own summer capsule wardrobe with trends and basic pieces, I actually have a blog post linked down below with a shopping checklist and this shopping checklist is just a list with all the items that I mentioned and also direct links if you want to shop online and whenever you're shopping in physical stores you can just go to my blog, open that blog post and then you have your shopping checklist with you and this way you won't spend your money on trends that you're just seeing in stores but you can just really focus on the list on your phone on the shopping checklist and you're not spending money that you don't need to spend on items that you don't need in your wardrobe and that's also personally how I like to shop because this way I don't spend too much money on pieces that I don't love so yeah definitely after this video check out the shopping checklist as well it's linked down below also if you like any of the pieces all the links are also there that I could find so yeah let's start so I'm going to start with trends so the first trend that I'm going to be talking about are big summery prints and one of the pieces that I want to show you is actually the blouse that I'm wearing right now so I feel like this blouse had a little bit of a moment on my Instagram because so many of you wanted to know where it's from I thought to share it in this video because then I can immediately link it for you in the description box down below so this blouse is from weekday and I do have to say that this was the last one I got in store and it's in a size M I usually have a size S or XS but I really like the fact that it's so oversized. It definitely has the Gucci or the Dolce & Cabana vibes. I would definitely pair it with some mom jeans if it's a little bit colder outside or with some high-waisted shorts. And then I would definitely belt it as well because I feel like this blouse needs a belt. The other very summery big print that I want to show you is this dress from Zafoul. If you know your high-end designers, then you'll know that Dolce & Cabana actually has a lot really least in this print they have like a beautiful dress and I was so obsessed with this print but unfortunately I don't have the money to spend on a Dolce & Cabana dress so when I saw this beautiful dupe dress at Saful I immediately got it uh, it's actually quite funny because a lot of you thought that this was a top because I wore it as a top in one of my Instagram photos but uh, it's actually a dress because this print is such a statement print you can style it super easily especially because it's a dress as well so just put on some nude booties or some nude heels a cute little crossbody bag and you're totally good to go so the next trend i want to talk about are embroidered shorts so embroidered jeans definitely had their moment during spring but now that it's getting warmer outside unfortunately it's raining so hard at the moment so it's definitely not warm here in the netherlands uh, we can change our embroidered jeans for embroidered shorts and these are high-waisted shorts from monkey and what i love about them is i have quite an issue with jeans and shorts in general because i don't have the skinniest legs and i feel like all these shorts are made for people with skinny legs and unfortunately I'm not one of them but I feel like Monkey does amazing high-waisted shorts for people with a little bit of bigger thighs um, so yeah I love them I think the embroidered detailing is super cute but it's not too much and they're just super soft and comfortable and I love embroidered shorts my go-to outfit in the summer is a white tee and some shorts and although I love the look of basic outfits these shorts will instantly give your outfit a little bit less of a basic feel because of the embroidery so that's why I love 
interesting shorts because you can keep the outfit super simple however it does look put together so the next trend i'm going to be talking about are mules or kind of mule-ish shoes these are officially not mules because they have a sling back model but in my opinion they do have the same feel and vibe as regular mules they are just a little bit more comfortable um, these are my go-to favorite shoes for summer they're from alexander wang they're super nice quality i got them last year and i still love them they're still in great condition they're the naja sandals and i actually have a whole video about them so i'll link that video down below and yeah i just love them they go literally with everything these are also the shoes that i wear with my go-to summer outfit the white tee and the shorts because they make you feel a little bit more put together Time, one of the things that's quite hard is to wear a jacket because usually it's just way too hot however I still like to wear a jacket but instead of going for leather jackets and more woolen coats I prefer to go for a more lightweight material such as this faux suede material so this is a biker jacket model from Zara however it's made from this very light uh, faux suede material beige and I think it looks very nice with my hair it has silver uh, detailing and it's also very cropped which makes it also a little bit less hot and on the inside it's actually it's not lined but it's like a um, cottony I think material so it's also a little bit more lightweight of course this jacket definitely adds a little bit of warmth to your outfit but it's not too bad I actually got this in a Zara sale and I'm so happy with it because I feel like this is the perfect jacket to go with the shorts and the white tee as i said before or you can also wear this with a play suit or a dress because i feel like black can be a little bit too harsh during the summer so i like to wear this with my girly dresses or play suits again to make them a little bit more edgy zara definitely has the best jackets because this one is again also from zara but it's more of a taupe brown uh, suede color um, and it's also a little bit longer than the previous one that i showed you i love to pair this suede jacket with my gucci dionysus because i feel like the combination is just amazing i also feel like it goes perfectly for example with the outfit that i'm wearing right now because it's just a little bit more of an interesting brown shade but to be honest this looks good over anything dresses skirts play suits shorts this is just such a versatile piece you can see this as your average leather jacket but then a more summery uh, version of it I already mentioned it, but my other favorite summer trends for 2017 are play suits. Although this play suit is from last year, it's uh, from Zafu, I still feel like I can get away with it this year because it's still very relevant. And what I love about play suits is that they are like an outfit in one. Whenever you're putting on a play suit, you literally only have to think of accessories, like your shoes and your bag, and maybe a hat, and that's it. Um, this is actually a play suit from the Zara sale that's going on right now. As you can see, I actually added a lot of color into my wardrobe, but usually I'm more into the minimal monochromatic tones. So this bright green color was quite a thing for me. However, I feel like this is the perfect more kind of formal play suit so whenever you have like a fancy dinner or something where you can show some leg this play suit is perfect and it's actually quite funny because if you put it on like this it looks ridiculous but then i paired it with my gucci belt i'm wearing right now and it actually looks super flattering so another play suit this one is from zafu that i added to my collection is this off shoulder mustard yellow shade when i received this play suit it came with this belt and i tried it on with and without the belt and it just looked ridiculous then i added again a gucci belt and i loved it and this is now one of my favorite outfits like this is going to be definitely one of my favorite play suits i don't care if yellow is not going to be trendy in a while because yeah i'm totally in love with this piece I know I've already mentioned it quite often, but of course a white tee is essential for your summer wardrobe. 
So this white tee is from Zara and a white tee just looks amazing with mom jeans, with high-waisted shorts or even with a more interesting skirt. If you have more of a statement skirt, then a white tee is the perfect layering piece on top of it. Or maybe if you have a very cool, I don't know, jacket or some very statementy shoes, a white tee always balances out everything. So it's definitely essential. I always like to go for a more kind of loose fit, not too loose, but a little bit loose. So it's just a little bit more casual. Staying in the theme of items that I already mentioned, you also need a pair of basic shorts. Now these ones are again from Monkey because I completely fell in love with the fit of Monkey shorts. And these ones don't have the embroidered detailing as the previous ones I showed you, but they have these very cool ribs, making them a little bit more casual. They're just super comfortable. Um, again, I wear this with a white tee, a striped tee, a nude tee. Then I can add the suede jacket and the mules or some black boots and you're totally good to go. So I just want to show you that buying basic pieces but then dressing them up with cool jackets or nice shoes can totally transform your outfit and it will be like a combination of a quite minimal style with something more interesting and that's kind of how I would like to describe my style. So, more denim to show you. I honestly love to wear denim in the summertime. Vintage uh, jackets from Levi's that I thrifted and I am completely obsessed with this coloring. Um, I feel like this is the perfect denim on denim uh, jacket. I always love when people wear denim on denim. However, I could never pull it off. But this jacket is the first jacket that made it possible for me to pull off denim on denim and I'm totally obsessed with it. So one of my favorite must-have basic accessories for summer are sunglasses. So I have three pairs to show you and all these pairs are from Gentle Monster which is a Korean brand so I'm going to try them all on for you. So this is my more kind of fancy sunglass pair that I would, for example, love to wear with this blouse that I'm wearing right now. Then this is my more minimal kind of pair of sunglasses. And I love to wear this pair of sunglasses with more edgy outfits, such as the suede jacket, the shorts, the white tee, and then a cool booty. And last but not least, this is my more kind of, I don't know, vintage hipster uh, sunglass pair. I love to wear this pair with, for example, the denim on denim look. I just feel like it really complements each other. Last but not least, I also think a basic for summer is a crossbody bag because I use my crossbody bags during the winter and spring and fall as well. However, during the summertime, I usually don't have to carry so much stuff with me. And I wanted to show you, I think my favorite pair for summer when it comes to crossbody bags. And that is this Alexander Wang Mini Rocky with black and rose gold hardware. Uh, I have a whole video on this, like a whole what's in my bag. I'll link it down below. The black and the rose gold goes perfectly. So yeah, this is a bag that goes with literally everything. Um, it's dressy enough to look good with a dress, but it's also so edgy enough to look good with some shorts and a tee. So those were all of my must-have trends and basic pieces for your summer wardrobe and I really hope you enjoyed this summer fashion guide. Don't forget to check out my blog because on my blog I actually have a shopping checklist for you guys whenever you're going shopping with your friends and you can just keep that checklist with you and then check off whatever you still need. So if you're interested in seeing more of my fashion videos, I actually did a very recent summer clothing haul and link somewhere here that you can check out after this video. So yeah, hope you're having a good day and I'll talk to you later. Bye guys. So I don't know about you guys, but I just get so excited for summer and summer holidays. That's why I did a lot of shopping. So grab something to drink, grab something to eat.